everybody. Welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today we are going to be painting something called Hands and Flowers. And this will be our interpretation of a famous painting by Pablo Picasso. And we're going to be starting out with the primary colors of blue, yellow, and red. And if you're going to paint with me today, I'll show you how to mix colors. I'll show you how to mix to make purple and orange, but if you have crayons, that's completely fine. Or if you wanna paint with watercolors today, that's completely fine too. So I will go ahead and meet you at the table. So I have a very large uh, piece of construction paper. This is the full size uh, piece of construction paper. This is a copy of the famous painting by Pablo Picasso and essentially it's somebody handing a bouquet of flowers to somebody else as a gift. Like somebody's handing the flowers and someone is receiving the flowers. So we're going to start, um, you're going to need a pencil and something to outline with and something to color with. Okay, so I'm going to turn my paper to the side and I'm going to start by tracing my hand. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter which hand um, you trace. Um, according to this paper here, this is a right hand on the bottom, but I know it's difficult to trace um, your opposite hand, but you can try that or you can trace any hand that you want. I'm tracing my right hand. First, I like to use pencil because if you try to trace your hand with black pen, you'll get black pen um, all over <laughs> your fingers. So now I'm going to outline it with pen so that you can see it. If you're wearing rings or bracelets, you'll probably re have to remove them to trace your hand. Okay, there. Then I'm going to turn my paper the other way and you now you could trace either a right hand or a left hand. This time I'm going to put my left hand down. And like I said before, it doesn't really matter. So this person is receiving the flowers or either way, giving or receiving. So notice that I'm putting my hand, this one's at the bottom of the paper because I want to have room for the flowers at the top. So this one's pretty close. See the positioning? So we have two hands now pretty close together. It's actually good practice to try using your opposite hand. So I'm left-handed and I'm trying really hard to trace with my right hand. It's not that easy, but it is good practice. Okay, now I can use my pen. Oh, I got, I got paint on my paper. <laughs> That's okay, that happens in the art room. I'm going to trace. Just kind of follow the lines. Okay. All right, so here we have the two hands, and we're going to just leave those there for now. So I mentioned that I'll be using uh, paint today. And the type of paint I'm using is, it's called um, tempera paint. There's all different, I have different brands here that I'm mixing together, but this is tempera paint. And my paint tray looks like this. So I'm gonna set it over here. Okay. And I'm gonna start with the primary colors. So I'm gonna, first of all, um, I think I'll, I'm gonna paint and then I'll talk to you about primary colors. So the first color that I'm going to do is um, the blue flower, like, and we'll put it somewhere over here. So I'm just gonna put my brush in the blue and just do a, like a blue circle. And if you're, if you're using crayons, try to find a blue color if you're using watercolors, you can paint with blue. 
And since I don't have water with me, I'm just gonna use different um, brushes for each. So I'm gonna leave that there. And then the next flower that I'm going to paint is yellow. So I'm gonna get my brush and um, dip it in the yellow. And we're gonna put a total of four flowers. So somewhere around here, I'm gonna add yellow. It's okay to glop it on there. Okay, and then I'm going to use red. Stay there, paintbrush. <laughs> I don't want to make a big mess. The red one is going to be up a little bit higher because I want to leave room for um, petals. So put a red one here. I just found some old paintbrushes. There's my red flower. Oh, let me move this down so that you can see it. Okay, I think I like the way that my red flower is bigger. I'm gonna make my yellow flower a little bigger. And I'm also gonna make my blue flower a little bluer. That's the fun thing about paint. You can just kind of add to it. There. Okay, um, so th the next thing that we are going to do is, I want orange, okay, so I'm gonna go up to the easel right now and point something out to you. Okay, so if I want orange, um, orange is created by mixing, what is it? Okay, you mix yellow with red to get orange. And the rule with mixing paint is you always start with a lighter color paint and add little bits of the darker color to it. So what's lighter, yellow or red? Yellow is lighter. So we'll start with yellow paint and then add a little bit of red to it until we get the orange color that we like. So let's try that. I'll meet you at the table. So I'm gonna mix in here. So I'm gonna start with my, with my yellow. Can you kind of, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to add just a little bit of the red in there. Let's see if I can get some orange if I stir it around. See how red it got automatically so quickly. But you can see it. Okay, sometimes we need to add more. There. Painting can be messy, but that's okay. There. So now I'm gonna make an orange. I could add a little bit more red, but this is okay for now. You just keep adding until you like. So this is pretty yellow orange. I might add a little more red to it. You can see the yellow coming through. There we go. So you can see we have orange. I'll just kind of see you can see that. Okay, so um, the next thing that we are going to do is make um, some purple, okay? And I'm gonna go back up to the easel and point out purple to you. Okay, so what two colors do you think you add together to make purple? So if you're starting with red, yellow, and blue, what do you think? Okay, you add blue with red to make purple, okay? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with blue actually here. Or actually I should probably start with red first. Yeah, I think I'll start with red. So I'm gonna take this red, put a blob of it here. I'm gonna add some blue to it. Until I get a purple color that I like. 
or violet. Sometimes we say, um, you can say like lavender or violet. These are all different shades of purple. This is still pretty dark, but might need more blue. A little more blue to this. This is definitely like a violet purple color. And I'm gonna add petals here. I think it might dry a little lighter. I'm just gonna make some petals, some purple petals. Notice the style of uh, Picasso. Look at the way he did his. And yours can just be similar. Maybe this one's gonna kind of go off the page because they don't fit. Okay, so that's just a suggestion of some flower petals. And then uh, that's really all the purple that I'm going to be using. So I don't, I don't need purple anymore. And now I'm going to put <clears throat> red petals around the yellow. And I'm gonna put red petals around the orange flower. Got something on my brush. I grab. I think I pulled these brushes out of the garage. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of. You can overlap the petals if you want to. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm also going to put red around the orange. So here. Do some shorter ones here because I'm running into my blue, but that's okay. The petals can overlap. It's going to look pretty. I'm gonna need, I can take this brush. Or should I use that one? Thank you. You know, Mr. Houston always helps me record these videos, so he's cleaning a brush for me. Okay, so this one is going to be blue. So I'm gonna need my blue. Oh, I need one for stems. But I can use one of these. You're done with the orange? Yes, I'm done with orange. I'm going to just overlap these. Remember, you're, you can make your flowers any way that you want to make your flowers. Okay. Then the last thing I need to do is paint some green stems. Okay, so um, with green, green, do you know what color, what two colors I'm gonna mix? Here, let me move the paints down so you can see them. Do you know what colors I'm gonna mix to make green? Let's go up to the easel and look here. Okay, so in order to make these green stems, I'm covering up the answer. Do you know it? Okay, that's right. You're going to mix yellow and blue. Now I'm going to start with yellow and just mix a little bit of blue in to get green. So I'm going to make a new little paint station over here. 
you can use paper plates. It's good to have things that you can like throw away when you're mixing paint. So I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of blue. See that? And I have green. If I keep mixing it, it'll blend even more, but I made some green. So I'm just going to add some stems. Now the stems are going to go all the way here. And I'm going to try a little bit to kind of show them. I don't want to paint over the hands, I'm just kind of paint it coming through the fingers. So it looks like they're holding this bouquet of flowers all the way down. It's a little tricky, but there, you get the idea. So we're going to paint some stems and we have four flowers, so we need at least four stems, but even if you have a little more, that's okay. You can have them going this way. You can even kind of just mix them together. And sometimes you run out of paint and you have to mix more. And put some down here. So it looks like there's this whole bouquet. If you want to do a few little like highlights of green at the top, I think that looks nice too. Up here. It's like the bouquet. Just something pretty going on with the flowers. There. I'm going to add more green through here to show stems. And if you're using crayon, just add some green crayon down here. Okay. There we go. So this is what it looks like at the bottom showing stem some greenery down there okay so i think we should take this back up to the easel so you can see um, the finish the whole finished product okay i'll meet you at the easel ah you can kind of see it so um we we painted a picture or some of you colored a picture uh, model after uh, Pablo Picasso and we started with primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue and we mixed the primary colors to get orange and violet or orange and um, purple. So thank you for drawing along with me. Of course you can always send me pictures of your art and I will see you next time. Bye bye. See you next time.